It don't always have to come back to me to, to, to toss you guys. Into, well, we don't know what order. So no, no, usually no, you got the headphone. I, I know this part. You usually got the headphone. Just interrupt. Feel free okay. to interrupt. Okay. You know what I mean? Like okay. you would normally do. Okay. Welcome to Talking Shop. I'm Jordan Babineau. This episode, we'll hear from our legends and how they got to Seattle, but particularly what kept them in Seattle. We all kind of migrated here to the Northwest. Many of us are from the mm. South. How the hell did you get here? <laughs> when I first came, I got drafted in 2006. And I, I promise you, when I first got drafted, I'm from Alabama, went to college in Alabama. And the moment I got drafted to the Seahawks, I was excited, like everybody, get you know drafted to the Seattle Seahawks. But the first thing I started doing was looking at the map and saying, all right, well, how can I get a trade to the Atlanta Falcons or the New Orleans Saints? Like, I'm looking at that clock to get out of here. It's coming out. So my wife, man, everybody joked. They said, hey, you been saying you're going to leave Seattle from the day you got there, and you still there today in 2022. So that's how I got here, and I, I don't know how I'm leaving. So I'm here. <laughs> but you actually left. I did leave. And then came back. I did leave. I left I left him to law school. So I know, y'all oh, yeah, know I went to law school after, after I finished playing. Mm -hmm. And that was part of it, too. Like, if I couldn't get to the Saints, if I can get to the Falcons, all these, you know, teams I, I grew for as a kid, I was like, all right, well, if my second career, go to law school, I'm going back home. And I went to the rival school. I went to Auburn, I'm Auburn Tiger, but I went to the rival school, just stir things up a little bit, do something different, you know. <laughs> but then even after that, I still came back to Seattle. Still came so, back. I'm still here, man. Still here. Well, big walk. Oh, uh, man, I got- Your story's a little different. A little different. Like you said, I got drafted here and the stuff. And uh, for me, coming from down south, I did, you know, when I was getting drafted, you know, you go through the process of drafting. You go to the school. When I thought I was going to get drafted, I thought I was going to get drafted by the Oakland Raiders. But I ended up getting drafted by Seattle. And I tell people to this day that, you know, it was, the, uh, it was probably the best thing to happen to me because I was able to come here, play football, focus on football. They had to worry about it with family and friends. I could come here and focus on football. So it was the best thing for me. And then for me to stay here, I call Seattle home now because of my kids. You know what I'm saying? My kids was born here. They love to be here. So I made it the, you know, I, I did everything I think everybody else do. You go home, back home, you build a, you build your, your big house. You want to be around family. But then when you realize you have family, you want to be there for them. So I wanted to be here for my kids because they was playing sports. So I decided to stay here. And then my opportunities are here better than anywhere else. And I always want to represent the city, you know what I'm saying? You never hear a lot of people saying, I'm from Seattle, I'm coming to Seattle. So I'm always repping the brand, repping Seattle Seahawks. So anytime the guys are here, I enjoy that fact because we are making our own standard uh, how to live in Seattle, how to be part of the, the whole community thing. So that's what got me stand here in Seattle. Wow, love it, love it. Uh, Cliff? <laughs> yeah, uh, for me, the reason why I stayed is Honestly, it's because what Big Walt just said, opportunities, man. Like, you know, what, what most people don't realize is for us athletes in particular, you know, whatever city we live in, um, you know, if you talk about Detroit, you talk about, uh, you know, Jacksonville, some of these smaller markets, the athletes tend to be some of the highest earners in those cities. But in Seattle, we might not come top 5,000, you know what I'm saying? So there's a peace of mind that comes with that because we ain't got to worry about somebody always trying to get from us, right? Take from us. Because around here, shoot, you be... You might bump into somebody, they're like, oh, you made how much of your career? <laughs> oh, that's cute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, but there's peace of mind in that and knowing that everybody ain't out to get you. Look, I think that's probably one of the fascinating things about Seattle is that it's such a, a community or an area that has uh, high wealth and income uh, across the board. Um, I grew up in Texas, came here as a free agent. Mm -hmm. So, um, and being from Texas, coming here from the South, I was like, <laughs> Like, where else can you see snow-capped mountains, houses on the hill, and, yeah. and the water underneath? I was like, everywhere I look is a postcard. <laughs> you know I, mean? like, I was extremely fascinated with Seattle just from uh, the landscape and design of the city. You know, unlike you, True, who, you know, been a hometown, mm -hmm. you know, and spent, you know, your entire life here in the state, went to college at Wazoo, drafted by the Seahawks as a number one uh, draft pick for the team. What was that like for you? Probably a dream come true, I imagine. It was definitely a dream come true. But to be honest, I, um, I was drafted to Seattle, so I might as well have been drafted to Texas or been mm -hmm. drafted to Jacksonville. Living in Tacoma, 
which is about 45 minutes south of Seattle. And growing up like we did, I didn't even know what Seattle was about, right? <laughs> I knew the neighborhood, I knew the area I was at. You remember, you, um, and then we would go out after practice and try to do stuff, go to eat and stuff. Y'all be like, true. 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 Where do we go? Uh, uh, where do we go? And I'd be like, hey, man, I'm, yeah, I'm, new too. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out like you guys figure out. And back then, it really wasn't a phone thing and we had to get the, um, the printout, the printout, the printout man. and all oh, man. that. Yellow pages, it ain't yellow pages. Not the yellow pages. Well, MapQuest. Not the yellow pages. Not the yellow pages. But yeah, but I'm saying though, playing, <laughs> playing at home, playing in the city, is definitely uh, been a blessing. And you talk about opportunities, and you did everything here. I mean, I went to high school here, went to college mm -hmm. here, and I played pro uh, ball here. And, you know, my family's here, wife. So you never left. Five kids and a puppy now, so I'm, I'm yeah. I, I can't go now. I'm it's stuck. Angles, so, man. Once you get the dog, it's a wrap. Once you get the dog, it's a wrap. Once you get the dog, it's a wrap. Well, you've heard from our legends and how we each got here to Seattle, the Pacific Northwest. Until next time, I'm Jordan Babineau, signing off. Thanks for watching. Comfortable in my own skin. I like who I am. The good vibes keep on bumping.